Hi, my name is Dan Barber. I'm a staff scientist and applications engineer with the Electronic Materials Group at Lord Corporation. I'm here today to tell you about our CoolTherm EP3500 High Thermal Conductivity Epoxy. The material has a thermal conductivity of 3.5 watts per meter K, and we are going to demonstrate how you can improve the temperature of your motors by potting the end windings with this material. Uh, in the demo, we have uh, two identical demos. The one on the left is an unpotted motor, and the one on the right has a potted motor. Both of them are identical otherwise. So there's a motor controller that controls the speed, and both of these motors are running at 1800 RPM. The current in each motor at the windings is being measured, and in each case, the current is about 0.98 amps. The way these work is that the motor drives a generator and then the current from this generator is controlled through this rheostat and these two lights act as the load for the motor. So using the rheostat, we can adjust the current and therefore we're adjusting the power of each motor. And since we're running at the same current and at the same speed, the output power for each motor is the same. And we are now going to measure the temperature of the end windings and of the skin of the motor while they're operating at this same power output. The unpotted motor, the temperatures are shown here. So the top two numbers are from thermocouples that are mounted directly on the end windings of the motor on the left side and the right side. The bottom two numbers are thermocouples that are taped to the outside of the motor. So they are measuring the skin temperature. And you can see at this particular power condition, the temperature is between 101 and 103 degrees Celsius and the skin temperature is about 70 degrees Celsius. If we then pot that motor with our high thermal conductivity epoxy, the end winding temperatures under the same power condition are shown here. On the left side, it's 81. On the right side, it's 73. And then the skin temperature is 65 or 66 degrees. So that demonstrates that we have two motors running under the same power output condition, but this one is 25 degrees or so cooler. In other motor tests that we've done before, we have seen uh, temperature improvements up to 40 or 50 degrees and power increases of 20 to 30 percent using our uh, high, high thermal conductivity EP3500.